How are we doing guys? McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It's currently 10 to 10 on Tuesday evening so I do apologise for the late video guys. Um, I've been busy, busy, busy this evening but um, I do know obviously we have a new player SBC, a centre back. I'm not actually, too sh no, not actually too sure who it is. I don't know who to expect. Um, I've not really looked at Twitter or Facebook or whatever to see exactly who it is. So no spoilers for me. So let's just see if this loading screen does show us who it is but also check and see what uh, other what other SPCs we have if any so it is Mangala man he looks amazing um, we'll check obviously any objectives and milestones and stuff as well guys just to see exactly what we have for the content tonight but if you are enjoying my videos guys please 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 leave a wee like in the video if you do not mind um, a wee subscription would be absolutely ideal as well um, so jumping into objectives I've already done two the Sierra and the Bundesliga. These are so, so easy with the golden goal thing. Um, everybody seems to be playing this golden... F birthday daily SPC plus two. So is this the exact same thing as the SPC plus one? But just repeated. Believe it is. Believe it is, I am mega pack. So the Samba Stars are still there, guys. I've obviously got the icon swaps Premier League today. I'm actually going to go and complete them after I do this video for yous. Um, also, also we have the icon swaps. I've actually played one, one game, and I'm I'm just going with silver Argentinian players, guys, and catching the two of them at the same time. So it'll take me six games, um, to complete them. Actually, hi man. Um, and then obviously the the UEFA Champions League Brazilians. They're coming in quite expensive now, so I maybe leave that, um, until the icon swaps just calm down a wee bit, then maybe catch, so that I can obviously buy them and get them into a squad, guys. But um, in terms of anything else, obviously we have the. The Fit Birthday Daily SBC Plus 2 there, which I believe is the same as the SBC Plus 1 um, for a Mega Pack, which again, is not too bad. In terms of milestones, we don't actually have anything. So, all we really need to look at tonight is obviously the player SBC, which is Mangala, which who looks absolutely ridiculous. And then obviously, the, the, the first segment of that um, <clears throat> SBC Plus, basically. So that Mangala is two segments. That's a total Vidal for last night, guys. He just looks absolutely brilliant. I've seen some reviews about him, people who have already done him, which is hats off to them um, for being able to afford them in the first place because he is coming in at 500k um, roughly. They're, they're basically saying that he's a just up version of like a Road to the Final Sissoko or a Road to the Final Renato Sanchez. And for me, that is a huge compliment in this game, guys. Um, that might that well, that is kind of tempting me to try and actually get him into my squad. Um, but the only issue I have is obviously with the, with the lack of Italian league links in my, my actual champ squad. But we do have uh, Mangala here, guys, for two segments. So we'll look at him in a wee wee second. Um, we'll go to the live tab. Let's check icons first, actually. So I don't believe there is any new icons. So no new icons here, guys, which is a wee shame. I felt as if they would give me their icons quicker, but hey, it is what it is. So we have the Group 2 Daily Challenge 1, we also have Cake Frosting, um, we've still got that uh, Neville, Neville Crack Kit there, the Lee Ballon set, and then that seems to be it, obviously we need to add that Sancho to the favourite so we remember to complete him. Um, but other than that guys, for the Cake Frosting SPC, it is coming in with Person Seam League Max 4, 1 Club Minimum 2, Gold Minimum 2, Rare Players 9, 70 Chemistry, eh, sorry, 70 Overall Rating and 85 Chemistry. Relatively easy for a Premium Gold Players Pack, I believe that was. Premium Gold Players Pack, aye. And then the Group 2 Daily Challenge is, um, well, it has been so, uh, just actual bronze squads put together, guys. So, Clubs Minimum 3, Players for the Same League Minimum 2, Rare Players 1, 40 Chemistry. Players with the same ratio, then one three. Relative, relatively easy, guys. At the end of the day, for these wee tiny SPCs, four of them, you're actually getting a mega packet, so it's not actually too bad. So that obviously brings us to Mangala. So complete this challenge themed around uh, Mangala's time with Portal. So a Portuguese, uh, an FC Portal player, sorry. Team of the week, an 83 for a premium electron players pack, and a team of the week with an 85 for a prime mixed players pack. So probably coming in at about 200 to 250k guys which is actually quite expensive but when I look at his card celebrate foot 13 I can actually remember his foot 13 card um, it was an absolute beast with this foot birthday Mangala featuring a 5 star 
weak foot permanent up, permanent upgrade. It's a five star weak foot, obviously, and your centre back is absolutely insane. His face card stats look very, very good. He's dribbling, especially for a centre back. So let's load up uh, foot bin, guys, and we'll actually look into him and see what we're actually got here. So he is here. Just as I say that, there is Renato Sanchez. So I presume that people are actually comparing this Vidal to the Sanchez, which um, is no very, no very surprising to be honest. Um, but obviously we have Mangala here, guys. He is coming in at 218k. As I said, that is quite pricey. From his base card this year, he's got 21 pace, 8 shooting, 25 passing, 25 dribbling, 12 defending and 10 physical, which is no too bad. 3 star, 5 star, left footer obviously, high medium work rate, which is brilliant, high in stocky, and then he has the power header trait. This guy just looks absolutely insane. A wee bit high, a weird pace split here in terms of the accelerations, a wee bit low. But you look at the short passing and the long passing, absolutely brilliant. The agility balance in this card as well. Reactions and composure as well are absolutely frightening. The defending stats, although very well rounded, are actually a wee bit... I mean, obviously we are going to put the Shadow Chem style on this guy, which is going to make these defending stats absolutely outrageous. But when we look at these defending stats just off the bat here, they don't actually seem too great. Um, interceptions is in, in defensive awareness is actually a wee bit low, especially for the price of this card that's coming in it. Obviously the shadow chem style sorts that out, makes him a 93 centre back, gives him that 90 pace. Absolutely ridiculous defending, his physical's already absolutely superb. Short and long passing is brilliant, agility balance is brilliant, reactions and composure, brilliant. Um, this is a very, very, very good card. There is a couple of reasons that I think that um, this is, uh, is this, basically this SBC is as expensive as it is. It's because the amount of French Liga Santander players this year um, that he can actually strong link to um, are actually is actually quite a bit. Um, obviously we've got Mendy, um, let me find France. We've got Mendy, so let's go, like, we've got the for birthday Mendy, but we've got Mendy there, we've got Griezmann in form, we've got Varano to the final, any one of the Benzema's you want, he seems to be um, basically La Liga's player of the year this year to be fair, road to the final Griezmann, Fakir's there, as I said Varane, Dembele, strong links to him, showdown Lamar if he completed him, strong links to him, strong links to Kunde as well, Coquelin again if he completed that showdown SPC, strong links to him, strong links to Longley as well, um, I don't actually think that there is many Valencia players in in the in the in the game this year that are too great. Where are you, Valencia? 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 How can I not find Valencia? There's Valencia there. So we take that French. So we have Jose Gaia who 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 will strong link to and um, Vas as well. And then you've got actually got that Gonzalo Guedes as well. Um, and then obviously strong links to Palista in form as well. So he's actually got a lot of links that could potentially be one of the reasons why he is so expensive obviously he does soft link to players like Mbappe anybody else for Ligue 1 who's French like Kenny Lava foot freeze just players off the top of my head foot freeze or wah um, Canty if you play with Canty I've still got Canty in my, my foot champs team so you'll obviously soft link to him as well so the linkage you get from Mangala is obviously it definitely is taking into consideration in terms of the price guys but do I think this SBC is worth it? I do. I absolutely do. I think this guy is going to be an absolute machine. Six foot two, high and stocky. He's going to be absolutely ridiculous, basically, in the game. Nice agility balance, which is absolutely key. I'm actually going to go and compare him. I'm going to see if I, in fact, what would they first is look at his FIFA 13 card, which which is this card here. I'm sure there was an R card they got that year. He's not had many cards, to be fair. Um, I'm actually going to go and compare them to Boateng. The player moments Boateng. The reason I want to compare it with him is because he's basically got the same build and stuff. And in game, I didn't actually particularly like Boateng. I liked him to start with, but after a while, he just got too. It just didn't feel too great in game. But the total in game stats, Boateng actually has more in game stats, but I'm more interested in the pace is basically the same here, guys. Um, the pace is obviously he's shooting hugely irrelevant passing. So he actually has worse long passing and short passing, but both times long pass and short pass is ridiculous. His vision is very good as well. Dribbling, he has m massive, massive amounts more of agility and balance. This is a very, very key factor, I think. 
because Boateng kind of feels a wee bit heavy in game. Obviously, as a centre back, you're not expecting it to be absolutely brilliant. Um, but this agility balance is key for this Malanga uh, card, and that's how I think he's actually worth the money. Um, obviously, physicals are basically the same. They even themselves out and defending Jerome Boateng is much better at defending. With the with the obviously the shadow chem style guys, it's not going to be much of a worry the defending stats because it boosts it that much that they're at the top tier stats anyway. Um, but the agility balance is the interesting part for me. That is basically um, all I've got to say in this card. Am I going to complete this card? Probably will. By the time I get my rewards in and stuff, there is six days on it left. There's 14 days left on Vidal actually, so he might be uh, someone I, I grind towards. But this my, my, uh, Mangala card is definitely worth it in my eyes, guys, for absolute sure. So let me know in the comments below if you're actually going to complete this card. Let me know if you think as a win or an L, whatever you want to call it. Let me know um, how you feel about the content. As I said, I've said it in the last couple of videos, I was a wee bit worried with um, the player SBCs coming basically every night, um, obviously because of the foot birthday, um, because it is a lot of fodder, it is definitely pricey cards and stuff like that, so, um, and me being me, I want to be able to complete everything possible, but sometimes it's just no possible when SBCs are getting fired out at you every single night. Especially um, at this price, you know, this is an 83 and 85. Palacio was an 83 and 85. Um, Pod uh, Podolski was an 82 and 85. Ozio was an 83 and 84. And then Vidal is an 84 and 85 and an 86, I believe. All the way in for him. So this card is expensive. So that's my only worry, guys. But as I said, this Mangala is definitely worth it in my eyes just because of the high agility balance and his stats is abs are absolutely brilliant. Also, you can get fantastic links for him as well, guys. So, let me know if you're going to complete him. Let me know how you're feeling about him. Um, obviously, I will be back tomorrow night with another video. Um, and tomorrow, let's just check who it is. I think it's a, a, Bruce, a Bruce Adoptment player we're getting, if it shows us here. Um, so, as a Bruce Adoptment player we're getting, then we get a left wing and then we get a French cam. So, um, plenty to look forward to, guys. But as I said, if you are enjoying the content, please drop me a wee like. Let me know how you're feeling about it. The content in general a wee subscription as well is very very much appreciated but i'll catch you tomorrow night for another video until then take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'm out cheers cheers